gotten into a crispy white peach, a juicy plum, or perhaps a pluot this summer? Well, the chances are that a unique family farm in Modesto was behind those in some way or another. Yeah, and Case Here 3's Linda Muma shows us what the growers, famous for creating new fruit varieties, are up to, and the one crop they developed now growing in popularity. This one here has a different flavor than the ones you just tasted. This 140 acre farm just outside of Modesto is what Lee's Gardner describes as a living laboratory. These are all interspecific peaches and nectarines. They um, have, some of them have plum in them, some of them have apricot in them, some of them even have a little cherry in them. Started by her father in the 70s and made internationally known by the hybrid plum apricot he named the Pluot, the family works together to develop new varieties by cross pollinating trees and selecting their fruit for certain traits. It's not really evident when you look at the fruit itself. But a lot of times it's evident in the flavor or the amount of sugar it can produce or its storage ability. For example, the family crossed an almond with a peach to create what it calls the independence. Last year, one in three uh, almond trees that were planted were independents. This year, it probably will be more like 50 percent. Grant Zager tells me the trees sold exclusively to growers in the nursery are sold out for the next four to five years. The reason? Everything is self-contained within one flower. If you get a little wind to blow, it pollinates itself. Eliminating the need for bees at a time colonies are collapsing. Bees used to be 15 to 20 dollars a hive per pollination season. Now they're 140 to 170 dollars per hive. While those trees are now taking off, the company has another fruit variety in the works. The biggest experiment probably that we have right now is plums with cherries. We're trying to extend the season of the cherry from just the six weeks that we have in the early spring to the whole summer long. Tinkering with the trees to produce fruit in different shapes, sizes, and colors to please a variety of palates. In Stanislaus County, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. Mm, tough assignment, huh? <laughs> Despite the company's name, Zager Genetics doesn't splice genes or manipulate DNA to develop new plants. The family says it sometimes takes generations of cross-pollinating trees to make a bridge between two species.